guys, it's a beautiful uh, Sunday afternoon. Jeffrey Howell's Carbon Cleaning here. And I know we don't typically work on Sundays, although we do occasionally. However, the weather is absolutely beautiful, and I could take this opportunity to do a little bit of a full street cleaning for my brother. As you can see, his uh, my nephew has used all of these chairs as his personal napkin. So we're gonna get these all cleaned up using a sodium carbonate and peroxide. I am gonna ID, fiber ID these first, look for a tag. Um, so I believe they're a synthetic blend, but I honestly, I don't know. There might be some cotton in there. But a little bit of peroxide in here and hurt it because we're gonna be rinsing it right out anyways. Um, I wouldn't recommend leaving uh, peroxide in natural fibers just because the peroxide continues to do its thing long after you're gone, even though it does eventually just evaporate, turn into nothing, but you want to stop that, that chemical reaction from occurring before it can potentially cause any damage. So, what we're going to do is we're going to give it a spray, we're going to scrub it with our hand brush, um, somewhat abrasive, now, this is pretty durable fiber, so it's not going to hurt anything, and we're going to want to uh, make sure it's very well agitated, because there is a bunch of crud in this but we're gonna have them looking good. Hey you guys, Jeffrey Hell's Cover Cleaning here, coming to you. Um, got this piece of a furniture that we're upholstered that we're gonna be cleaning up today, part of the dining room set. It's actually a very rare piece, and um, I'd like to give you a little bit of history about this. Um, this particular piece, the wood was actually made from a piece of driftwood that came floating over um, from Japan. I guess it was pretty rare and we took it and uh, the seat cushion itself is actually Italian cotton and uh, the Italian cotton seat chair and then the cushion itself is actually stuffed with Brazilian camel hair so it's very rare. I mean Italian cotton, Brazilian camel hair and some exotic beech wood from floating over from Japan so it really is a pretty unique uh, dining room piece. But we're going to be uh, cleaning this up today. We've actually, we have cleaned it up before in the past. And I was using a peroxide cleaner on it. And it did an okay job. I mean, it really brightened it up and it cleaned a lot of it out. But however, my uh, my nephew has been using this as his own personal napkins forever. And there's all kinds of nasty stuff that I believe that a lot of this... Besides that there, I don't know if that's chocolate or if it was chocolate, it would have come off. So I don't know what it is. Um, a lot of it, I believe that like things like greasy foods like macaroni and cheese and such that kids like to eat. And um, using his hands as a napkin, I'm sure that that uh, camel hair has absorbed a lot of the, uh, the grease itself. So we can be cleaning on the uh, Italian cotton, but it's not going to do anything to the the grease that's really inside the, uh, the the camel hair that is absorbed and stuff so what we did is we went ahead and we got this uh, product here um, it's called Citrazolve and it this is by Walter E. Nelson um, and it's a big janitorial supply place but really what I was looking for was an enzyme that would chew away at oils and grease and fat and stuff like that in, in food, especially like macaroni and cheese, you can just think of all the oils and that stuff. So, I'm going to get this product here, give it a shot, I'm going to go ahead and spray it on here and agitate it gently with our brush, Home Depot brush, because, um, you know, uh, Italian cotton is pretty fragile, you don't want to hit it up too hard. So, um, let that dwell in there for about 10 or 15 minutes, and in the meantime, we'll fire up the truck and get it ready to go, and we'll see what kind of results we get from this. Um, I wasn't happy with the results that I got earlier, so we'll give us a second go with another product and see if the, the chemistry helps us out at all here. Okay, so we gave a bit of dwell time and let this thing sit. You know, it's our beechwood, uh, Italian cotton, camel hair stuffed, Brazilian camel hair stuffed uh, seat cushion. So it's a very unique chair that doesn't exist anywhere else in the world, but we own it, so it's pretty cool. And as you can see, the uh, 
Citrusolve product that we use, which is a heavy duty uh, powder carpet pre blah blah blah. So basically, it's a citrus solvent product specifically for grease and that sort of thing. Uh, my nephew has been using it as his personal uh, napkin for many years, and it was an absolute mess. Now, however, you see this spot on there. That's actually a burn. It has texture to it. It's either a burn or it's a tab, plastic, you know, tab or sticker or something that's really stuck um, very heavily to it. Um, I don't really want to take a knife or something to it and see if I can scrape it off because I'm afraid I might damage the chair or the fabric. So I'm just going to leave it there because uh, Italian cotton is somewhat expensive and I really don't want to be point out any of the uh, Brazilian camel hair that's in there because that stuff is pretty expensive as well. So um, with that said, this this product is awesome, and I'm going to go ahead and use it on the rest of their dining room set.